Hey guys, welcome to my before mess. As you can see, it's a disaster before you even enter this room. Everything is just everywhere in here. It's all over the place. A lot of this stuff I had um, at my dad's house and when he passed away I had to bring it here. So now we're going to try and figure out how to make this 8 by 9 room work better. How in the world I'm going to do this at this point? No idea. But just wait and see because all this clutter comes together to make a much better room. And you wouldn't believe what happens in here. So keep watching for the transformation as it's coming up next. And avoid my mess if you can because it's definitely messy. Lots and lots and lots of clutter here. No room to even work in here. So, let's say goodbye to this mess. And we'll get started on the other mess and you'll be able to see the transformation. Alright, are you ready for the makeover? You're going to be surprised. Here we are. You can actually work in here now. I did a desk completely around the whole room with my husband and my son's help. And my daughter helped me with the painting and stuff. So this used to be her old bedroom. When she moved out and had my grandson, I confiscated this room. As you can see, I have some tools. Not all of my tools, but some. That is my little food processor. I make some mulch and stuff with that. And I have a drill press and a sander and a bandsaw. I have a hanging light there so I can see a little bit better when I'm over on there. Then all these shelves that are teal, I painted those. And the paint shelf, there's a tutorial for that. You can look on the channel and see that now. It's uploaded. Then my little Homer bucket trash can, I spray painted that with some teal and hot pink. And you can't see it in the video, but there's actually glitter spray paint on there as well. Because you know you just got to give it a little pizzazz for a girl. And then this holds all of my glue. Well, everything but the crazy glue. And this is my paint rack that I hung behind the door. That came from Amazon. It's under the pantry section, I think. And this paint rack I made. Again, there's a tutorial for that. My three-tier basket I got off of Hobby Lobby. And underneath here you see a slot. That is the storage that we designed so that I could put things in it and have it easily accessed. This is my board that I made my tools hang on, and that's pictures of my dad. Here's just a couple of the dollhouses that we did. And then this shelf, believe it or not, was my mom's, and it was white and wood. I painted it when I cleaned out my dad's house and uh, I repurposed it. The picture frames that you're seeing on the wall, those actually came from Dollar Tree and I spray painted them. All the bling that's on the drawers, that actually came from Dollar Tree too. It's pretty cheap. And then these little round um, like storage containers, those were also Dollar Tree. So they were really, really cheap. They were a buck. Got a lot of them, and I'm able to store two in a row all the way across. And then these came from Michael's. They are scrapbooking containers, and of course they had to be teal. This chair is the one that we did for the 112th dolls, and uh, 
I repurposed it because I had no use for a 112 chair and turned it into a cell phone holder. Down here is where I put my foam board. And there's actually another storage thing in the back that holds some other things to the right. But you can't get to that. And then over here are all the little um, Adnan things that I have. These are some little cups that my daughter gave me and I use them for mixing things in like paint and stuff. Those are just my work boards and some poster boards and some more foam boards. Here's some of my wood, nice and organized. And then these metal trays I use as jigs for gluing things together. These colorful ones came from Amazon. Um, they're okay, they're just a little flimsy, but they're not too bad. And this is where I keep the little paint sticks and my balsa wood and basswood there. The hot glue gun that my dad and I made for, or the stand that my dad and I made and my dollhouse. And here's some of the lighting that I have. And there's a whole nother video about the lighting that you guys can view. But pretty much this is how I fit everything I needed in this 8x9 space. Small space crafting does not have to be hard. You just have to think outside the box. And I tried to think outside the box as much as I could. If you could think of anything else that would help me organize a small space, please leave a comment below because I'm definitely open to options. And uh, this is what I have so far. And um, hopefully I will be able to do a lot more dollhousing now that I have some space to do it in. These are just my pencils. Always keep a sharp pencil. You want that pristine line when you're crafting. And then there is that crazy glue that I was talking about because they would fall through the other basket. Um, I added that little hanging light so that I could see, which I already told you that. And this is a little cross I put here with a picture of Dad, just kind of in memory of him. And of course, here's the paint again, and I used this shelf also for the nail polish too. And as my family grows, so will that tree. And here is the cell phone chair that I was telling you about. Now it has the phone on it. Well, one of the phones on it. This is the Beacon Hill that started our entire beginning and uh, this is where it all began. The trees we made, the flock that goes on the trees we made, the grass, almost everything you see in this video my dad and I did together. So if you want to see tutorials on those, go to dollhousetutorials.com or like and subscribe and look through the videos that's on this channel. I think there's like 400 or something like that on there. So you get started in dollhousing. There's lots and lots of build tips on there. And uh, I'll see you next time. So have a wonderful, wonderful day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a question, suggestion, or comment below.